Now, there was a somber mood at uh, Gyakanja village in Nyeri County as family and friends gathered to bid farewell to First Officer Jean Murithi following the fatal accident of the Fly Sachs plane. Now, she was among nine others, including Captain Barbara Wangeshi, who died after their plane crashed at Kinangop in the Abadair Ranges on Tuesday last week. Well, Rakel Mwigai was there and covered the following report. <laughs> It was the final journey of first captain Jin Mudoni Muredi or Noni, as she was fondly referred to by her friends and family. Her death coming just two months shy of her 26th birthday and one that dealt a huge blow to her family. In the 25 years that God gave you to me, my dear daughter, you have lived a full life, achieving most of what you wanted to do. Sincerely, I do not know what to make of all this sorrow now. But by God's will, it shall be crystal one day. If I ever could choose a sister again, Jin Modoni Muredi, it would be you. The late Jin Modoni Muredi had just landed her first major job with Flysex in September last year, soon after completing her flight training at the Kenya School of Flying. And according to her colleagues, Jin would always glow up every time she was to fly. Her flight stories being some of the memories her friends will cherish. God instilled in her a mission and a desire to see the skies and to make the clouds her office and her workspace, something she did absolutely brilliantly. Nothing changes if nothing changes was her WhatsApp status. Complacency was clearly an, never an option and excellence might as well have been her middle name. These circumstances of her death and that of nine others aboard the 5Y CAC Cessna aircraft still remain a mystery. There is a team doing investigations. What caused the accident? So that next time, your makosa is Rudu the late Jin Muredi was just one of the pilots in the country, but to her friends and family, the pilot and finance graduate from Strathmore University was a girl who dared to dream. Raquel Muigai, KTN News.